Hi and welcome into my office, I'm Brian. Let's now examine this two volume set, which is uh, scarce and desirable and complete. It has been rebound in this rather plain uh, blue cloth or buckram, like so, probably done 50, 75 years ago, maybe more. But uh, the contents uh, remain like so. It is a well-known work by Isaac Weld, travels through the states of North America. It's 1799 London, second edition, 16 plates, they're all here. There is a staining and damp staining throughout as seen, but let's now walk through the set and I want to show each plate so that you can see it. Great contents about, you know, Virginia, life in America, you know, copper mines, uh, all aspects of uh, manners, customs, uh, topography, uh, the climate. Um, yes, yes, very nice uh, work. And we'll begin with this first plate here of a stage wagon. Uh, the plates uh, often are uh, age darkened and spotted and often the edges are curled. We also notice, I've noticed that the majority of them, if not all, have been backed with linen long ago like this so that they are now virtually indestructible. Uh, and this of course is a wonderful 18th century plan of Washington DC. It is dated 1798. September 16th at the, at the, at the, at the, at the bottom uh, with the imprint, uh, like so. And like this. Here is a view of Mount Vernon, seat of General Washington. And if my history is correct, I believe he was alive when that was, when this was published, when that view was published. Here uh, is a view of the Rock Bridge and the next plate we'll find is this one here, the, the Potomac River. I do believe they're, they do mean the Potomac River, and that's a view from Mount Vernon. And today you still can, when you visit Mount Vernon, you can visit uh, by boat. I've done that a couple years ago from Washington. You just take a boat ride. And here is uh, Coho's Fall. And and then here is a map of the Upper and Lower Canada, 1798, showing the Great Lakes. Look at the islands here in Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to this next one, which is right here. Okay. Here is Canadian Kalash, <laughs> horse-drawn cart. And here is a map, a plan of the city of Quebec. Nice decorative map with an extensive annotated key. And here we have a view of Cape Diamond. Again, the edges are fold un under uh, on so many of these plates. And uh, at the rear is this large folding linen backed map with original outline hand color like so. Part of the United States with an inset down here of South Carolina and the Georgia coastal regions. This is also dated 1798. And that's the first volume. This is volume two. It's like so, like this. And there's the title page. Here's the contents. Description of the towns, Indians, forts, rivers and falls. Presence delivered to the Indians, the British government, mode of distributing. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yes, very interesting work on 18th century America. And then we have here this plan of the Falls of Niagara, like so. And that is followed by this view of the Horseshoe Fall of Niagara. Notice the Native Americans down here. Looks like they're fishing there. And here is a different view with more people engaged in what appears to be fishing. And so we get to this one here. Here's another view 
of the falls. The falls were at this time and up until the mid 19th century really considered one of the great attractions that needed to be visited uh, in the United States. And here is a view of Bethlehem, a Moravian settlement, it says. That's quite nice. And so that uh, covers the contents and condition of the set. And it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.